outdoors people, stop buying this knife. This is the air crew survival knife for US military and commonly is called the bolt knife, but it's absolutely terrible and I'm gonna prove it to you and destroy this thing over the next two minutes. Some people think that military grade means quality when it really just means that it was made by the lowest bidder. I might actually keep the sheath though once I remove the whetstone pocket. On the surface, this knife looks calm and ready, but underneath, the tang is spaghetti. Well, actually, it's more like the size of a pencil, not spaghetti, but pencil doesn't rhyme with calm and ready. So if you look closely here, you can see that only one third of this blade actually goes through that guard and extends into the handle. This is what I mean by tang. It's the metal from the blade that extends into the handle. All three weaknesses I'm about to show you are based off of this one flaw. A quality bushcraft knife is going to have a full tang, which means the metal is the same width as the handle all the way down. Even when I'm making these homemade knives like this layered steel 15 and 20 Damascus, I keep the metal as wide as I can throughout the entire handle. Even this cheap throwing knife from Cold Steel has zero defects in the handle so that it can take a beating when hitting the target. Lastly, we have a brute of a chopper here. You can see that the handle actually even gets a little bit thicker than the blade because it needs to be the strongest point of the entire build. All right, all right, all right, you get it. That's a weak point. How are we going to attack it? I'm going to simulate the knife is stuck in a piece of wood and I'm just going to put a little bit of force on it like I was wiggling it out. All knives are gonna bend a little bit, but good knives will rebound back to being completely straight. This one seems to be taking its time. So we're gonna to try to bend it back into shape Two bends later, it snaps off completely at that weak point that we already identified. But we're not done yet. Let's take a look at what we have underneath. I actually like the blade of these, and if they had a sturdy handle material, I would probably use this more often. Another common complaint with this knife is the stacked leather handle. I think it looks cool, but it does collect dirt and grime, and it isn't tight enough for it to actually serve its purpose. Putting these together, you can really see the difference between the front and the back of the knife. All right, let's attack those other two weak points. This metal is just peened over on the back, so if we provide a little bit of pressure, it twists right off inside. This is an issue when amateurs use this knife because sometimes they do put a wrench or a socket on the back and actually apply that rotational force. Our last defect is that drilled hole in the center of the tang. Usually these are there to hold the scales of the handle on, but with this construction, there's absolutely no reason for it to be there. So there you have it, military grade, it's not always mean that it's quality. Be sure to check out my other videos if you've got more tips and tricks. Or, you know, angry rants.